my three children and I, were on our way to being homeless. Before Rebuild Upstate came in, I couldn't turn the light switch on and off. We couldn't flush our toilets. I um, realized I needed home repairs when I went to take my back deck apart. I went to take the deck off, and when I did, the whole part of the house came with it, and the wood was crumbling. It wasn't stable for the children or I in the home, and uh, we needed the major repairs done. I got referred to Rebuild Upstate through the Department of Social Services. They came into my house. They said, you're not a bad mother. You're not a bad person. The only thing we can see is we have to deem your house a safety hazard for your children. At that point was when I found out as a working mother of three children and a homeowner was not eligible for any services that the Department of Social Services offer. It's amazing how I've been able to rely on the kindness of strangers to help my children and I out. There were some leaks up in the roof that needed to be addressed, so we went ahead and put some new boots on and some light roofing repair. Uh, the big thing that we had to tackle on one Saturday was structural with the house. So we actually had significant rot on one of the band joists on the outside of the house, which required us to remove the siding, jack up and support the house temporarily, or we replaced all of that rotted lumber underneath and put it back down on its foundation to make it more structurally sound and keep the floors stable. We also did some light electrical work inside that day where we were just helping to secure ceiling fans, repair a couple of lights that hadn't been working properly with their switches. We eventually ended up redoing a lot of the siding that needed to be redone due to rot and other issues. And eventually another group came in and painted the entire exterior of the house. I think it's always important just as people to give back in some capacity. And, and some people are capable of climbing up on a roof and some people aren't, right? Just depending on where you're at. But this is a really neat thing to be able to do. It's, it's getting your hands dirty. It's actually watching the impact um, hands-on. I think among you know, home repair or home construction type organizations, uh, Rebuild is the best in the upstate. Just out of my experience working with everyone, the way that they operate, the type of work that they do, the families that they impact, um, the way that they serve, it, it's, it definitely stands above the rest to me. To be able to live in this beautiful home now, this beautiful home, something to be proud of and have my dignity and my children can be proud of and we can invite people over. We're safe and we're okay. And that these generous people that didn't even know me or my children came in and helped me when no one else would. Rebuild came here to me and I believe y'all were my blessing from the Lord above. Rebuild Upstate exists to serve families just like Miss Tabitha's. Serving families like hers with her and her three kids it brings so much joy to the people who are serving. We have over a thousand families on our waiting list, just like Miss Tabitha and her children. They need your help. You can be the difference. You can support the organization. Come on board and give of your time. Volunteer with the organization. Um, give with your resources. Donate to the organization. Contribute. Help us make this possible for another family just like Miss Tabitha's. We need you to get involved. You can make a difference in the life of a family just like the one you've heard about today. Give with your hands. Give with your heart. Join us at Rebuild Upstate.